Hey ho! What's up, Crypto Universe? Rock the Block Live Daily News. You know the drill. But today, instead of wearing my usual checkered shirt, which is my signature shirt, my favorite shirt, or the Enjoy Crypto t shirt, I have my Christmas t shirt. Check it out. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Who that character is leave me something in the comment below okay on to today's daily news first up tone vase tony vase the influencer who is very big on youtube and if you are in a crypto field chances are you have watched this video before heard the man and it's always going around with a cap on his head looking really stern and most times rather critical of a lot of things in crypto but uh Really interesting point of view as well. He's most famous for criticizing Ethereum since from way back. So you know, that particular coin that everybody likes, Ethereum? Yeah, Tony Vase hits it. Okay, so what happens now is that after his Bitcoin world tour uh, on the as part of the pretext to his Bitcoin world tour discussion, he threw it out there to the Twitterverse and said, hey, it's a jungle out there under my hodl cap. And now I want to ask you guys to give me some suggestions on what kind of haircut to get. And he might even stream it online. So who pops by other than fans of Tony Vez is a long time critic and enemy of Tony Vez. He had to throw his hat in as well. And he tweeted that you already have a massive haircut. Bitcoin has dropped 85%. You are almost scalped. Ooh, fighting words right there. So how do you still go about 24-7 globetrotting talking about Bitcoin? The person who tweeted this is none other than Dr. Nurul, Dr. Doom Rubini. Uh, he's known as Dr. Doom for predicting the 2008 recession, the crisis. And now he's a number one cryptocurrency critic. Dr. Doom goes on to explain that the only people who would be so blind to see what cryptocurrency really is, uh, it's a scam and has no value, are the religious zealots. So in this case, the Bitcoin zealots. Totally throwing logic out the window and just going Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin. So Dr. Doom says that about Tony Vase and pretty much everybody in the cryptocurrency field. To which Tony then replies that he has seen bear markets before where he had watched Bitcoin fallen from $1,200 to $150. This time, there is no difference. The fundamentals are much stronger now. And she, then he goes, Tony goes to challenge Dr. Doom. Are you saying something will be different right now? This isn't the first time that Vase and Rubini has had beef before. And the other time they did was on stage in person. Uh, but this time, you know, it's, it's quite cool for Rubini to come in and steal his thunder and use that platform with all his thousands of influencers, uh, rather fans, uh, to use it as a platform to diss Bitcoin. So, I don't know if Dr. Doom is going to be right or wrong. That's really up for debate and only the future will tell. But I got to say, Dr. Doom knows how to play his marketing cards just right. As for the rest of the Cryptoverse, it's just another day eating popcorns and watching Giants in the cryptoverse fighting it out, throwing around comments. <laughs> I'm laughing, but it's a laugh of impatience. Show the movie. Then uh, for the rest of us, just sit back, relax, enjoy the fun while we wait for the market to recover, which it did for just a bit yesterday. Hopefully that trend picks up all the way past New Year, past Christmas, so, and we can have a good 2009 the beginning of it at least because I do not think that's going to last very long. So let me know what you think. Is this a recovery period? Bull run all the way or do you think 2019 will be just as bleak? Now no one knows the answer but it's just fun to hypothesize. So give me your thoughts below in the comments and type out something so we can get a poll to see which camp is stronger. Headline news number two and this one is a huge news. Coinbase has just announced that users can withdraw their money to PayPal free of charge. Coming from the 19th, or oh sorry, uh, starting from the 15th of December. And also a new feature on Coinbase called Convert. Now, if you want to convert one cryptocurrency to another cryptocurrency, you can just click Convert and it's done 
immediately. Okay, so previously, what you had to do if you wanted to convert your cryptocurrency is to sell it off to fiat or to Bitcoin and then use Bitcoin or Ethereum to buy in on the new currency that you want. But right now, Coinbase is expanding that convert stable or portfolio of coins where you can just do a direct conversion. Of course, the more popular coins come first and if your coins is not listed there, it's just not popular enough or chances are there isn't any much of a trade volume to be had. Okay, so uh, just wait your turn. I, I think eventually uh, this whole conversion, crypto, crypto conversion will be uh, something that every business out there will have to do. Uh, Malcolm Chang and myself, we covered Kyber yesterday. We went up to Kyber headquarters. Uh, you know myself, I'm an ambassador for one chain. We talked about one chain quite a bit on our show as well. So all these different projects, the, the reason for their existence is to do cross uh, crypto uh, payment or conversion, if you may. It's just that how they do it on the back end is different. But the point is, you have thousands of cryptocurrencies floating out there in the market today. Somebody has got to come up with a solution that allows you to have a single click function that allows you to just do conversion straight away. Then that would make sense to have all these coins floating around, but you can still use it across platform. Hmm? This feature is available in 34 different countries where Coinbase is offering service support. Now, one thing that you might want to take note of if you are a stickler for currency exchange rate is that if you do a direct conversion from crypto to crypto, chances are that there would be a higher exchange rate. It only makes sense to have that because having that feature costs money. So if you're changing a, a huge amount of one currency to another, it may pay off to just go and check out how much it is to do a crypto to Bitcoin conversion or crypto stable coin conversion, stable fiat conversion, and then from that fiat stable coin or uh, Bitcoin into the new cryptocurrency. And that might be cheaper for you if you are trading large volume. However, if you are a small time player and you just want to do a quick conversion because time is money and really can't be asked to do that ex effort of exchanging up here and there, uh, most of us wouldn't mind paying that little bit of extra haircut for that ease of conversion. Okay, can I just a little off the top, please? Thank you so much. Oh, excuse me, sir. I really think it's time for us to move along, don't you think? Come on, Jimmy, man. Just two seconds, yeah, right? One time to go. I promise we're done. Wait. Uh oh. Third piece of headline news. This one is really charming. It's uh, nostalgic. Gamers would love it. It seems that Animoca brand has announced a agreement between itself and Atari Interactive. The China-based publisher and distributor aims to develop and publish blockchain versions of Atari's mobile titles, uh, starting with Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch, this is a famous amusement park simulator, and Goon Squad, which is a card-based multiplayer game. Uh, Roller Coaster Tycoon Touch has already reached 19 million downloads. Given that any blockchain adoption for any games right now is just pretty much attractive to players. It's a, it's a, it's a new thing, the new shiny thing, and everyone just rushes into it. The success of these products is mutually beneficial to Animoca Games as well as Atari with a, an agreement that says Atari will receive a profit share of all the revenue when it hits $500,000 at that. So we have games, we have Atari, and blockchain. Need we say more? But the thing is, do we really need to put all these games on the blockchain? Hmm? Sometimes we talk about use cases, sometimes we question the intent behind it, but somehow when it comes to game, collectible card games, and anything nostalgic, all that logic goes out the window and we rush into it because we just love the idea so much. <laughs> So that's the top three news I have for you today. Uh, for next year, 2019, one of the big changes that we're going to have on Rock Block Live, uh, over the last few episodes, I've been giving you tips or hints on what's going to change. For today, uh, I'm going to share with you that all these daily videos, three headline news and all that, will be converted into a weekly headline news. Weekly instead of daily. Uh, why? We want to save the effort and time to do other cool and crazier stuff for you. We're gonna come up with new content, shape this channel up a bit, bring new people in. So daily videos is a lot of effort. In case you guys don't know how much effort it took to create one video like that, 
it usually takes three individuals about a total of eight hours. That, that is one day's work to cut a video like that for you. First, Terence Ang, who's our strategic content creator, will go scour the internet, pick three headline news that he thinks is uh, interesting for you guys. Let me try. <clears throat> eBay Sugar Rush Steering Wheel. Oh, I only found one result for your query. Uh, he'll write out his own script instead of just copying content and pasting for me. Uh, he'll come up with his own quip. I will read it, I will digest it, I will add in my own content to the content that he's already built. We then record this video. Sometimes we have to record it multiple times because, you know, I step up, I make mistakes. Though most times right now, like you see in this video, a lot of it is just one take, which is a lot more fun because it's, it's real. But when we give this video over to our editor-in-chief, while the rest of us were sleeping, he worked. More the other guy behind the scenes. So if you have seen us at events, he's the guy with the cap with the camera walking around. He's also our editor, and he goes around the internet looking out for visual content that would fit the the the, the audio content that we are recording right now, just to make it really tight and engaging for you guys to watch. Because face it, nobody wants to watch ten minutes of this face <laughs> talking to you guys about dry topic, right? So and. In fact, I don't want to watch that as well. So we want to make it fun for ourselves to watch and we hope that by doing that, you guys will enjoy it too. So that takes up a lot of work. We're going to put that all down to one week instead of daily and leave the rest of the days to come up with new contents, experiment with new ideas. So we really need you guys to let us know what works and what don't because it's all experimental right now. So we just want to work that with you. So work with us, let us know what you want, let us know how you feel and hey, we all do this because of you guys. So without your support and your love and your help, none of this matter, okay? So do like and share this with your friends. Subscribe if you have not already. And stay tuned till the end of this video is a, some of the final clues that we have for Satoshi's quest. See you guys in the next video.